Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to retouch skin tones in video. You'll see how to do it in uh, Photoshop a lot, but look at this. I've got this lady here just sort of staring at the camera, just stock footage. But then I've gone ahead and made some small adjustments, and now her lipstick is a little brighter, her face is a little more ruddy, and it's got some more reddish tones in it. It's not a perfect set of masking, I understand that, but I just want to show you the technique and how I did it. So let's just start from scratch and go from the beginning. Okay, good. Now, here we go. We've loaded in some footage into the project panel. Drag and drop it onto your timeline. I'm going to zoom in a bit because it's only a few seconds long, and I'm just going to go ahead and move the playhead to about two seconds and then I'm going to cut it because I don't want to go too long here. I want to make this a short tutorial but teach you the technique. So we've got it in there, we've trimmed it. The next step is you want to hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option key on a Mac, hold it down, click on this uh, track and push up. And now we've created a duplicate copy. Select the top video copy here or select the top V2 track and we're going to work on this one. So now the next step, go to your effects panel right here and type in the word Lumetri Color. It's actually two words, <laughs> but type it in just like I've done here. Lumetri Color is the effect we're going for, and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the track. Now, out of the box, nothing happens, but now you want to go to your Effect Controls panel, and if you don't see either of these panels, you can just go up here and make sure there's a check mark beside Effect Controls and Effects if you can't find the panel. Once you've done that, you'll see here Lumetri Color is now applied in Effect Controls. We're going to go ahead and grab this pen tool, or the Free Draw Bezier tool is what they call it, but it's really the pen tool. And we're just going to go ahead and draw a very rough mask because I just want to teach you the technique. It doesn't have to be a perfect mask for this because, again, just showing you how to do it. Something like that and maybe somewhere around there and then I'll close it. Something like that, okay? It's not a perfect mask. And if you want to, I can move it up a bit so that it looks a little better. But again, that's not the point. Okay, good. So we've got this mask and it's drawn. Again, now the playhead is at the beginning. The next step is we're going to go down here and you're going to see a few options under basic correction. This is where we can do most of the work. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start adjusting the temperature. So I'm going to increase the temperature. If I go really, really hard, you see it goes kind of orange. But if we just go ahead and increase the temperature a little bit, we're going to increase the tint a little bit. We're going to increase the saturation a little bit. And you'll already see that her face, her color of her lips is starting to change. Change the exposure to like something like 0.1. And again, you can dial this into whatever color you're looking for. If you want it to go less contrasty, more contrasty. Again, select the color that you want. I'm just going to go with something like this. I'm going to take the highlights down. I'm going to take the shadows down. I'm going to decrease the whites. And I'm going to increase the black. So something like this. This has got like darker lipstick. Let's see what we got. Original dark lipstick. It's not a perfect mask. Again, you'll see here a little bit of spill over here, but I'm just trying to show you the technique. So we've got this new lipstick look. Excellent. Now, the next step is clicking back up here. What you want to do, again, making sure your playhead is at the beginning, click on this button here, track selected mask forward. It's also the equivalent of hitting the play button. When you do that, it's now going to apply those adjustments to her face here, but it's going to go throughout the entire uh, video. So watch. As I move here, you'll see her face moves a little bit. The mask goes with her. That is how you do it. If you want to apply a second set to color her face a little more, simply go back into your effects panel, grab Lumetri Color, and you need to drag and drop it and apply it a second time. So this is going to create a second effect. Drag and drop it onto the top. You'll see Lumetri Color here. And then we're going to go down and you'll see Lumetri Color again. I'm going to grab the pen tool and then I'll just draw this really, really quickly here because again, this is just to show you the technique. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you know, you draw something like this, something like that around her face and whatever, something like that. Presto. Uh, missed there and there. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Now, you can go back in, do the same thing. Go to Basic Correction. Go under uh, temperature, increase the temperature, and now all of a sudden she's got an orange face or she's got a blue face or something like that. But that's the technique. And then once you've got the temperature dialed in and you've got it the way you want it, maybe increase the fa feather a little bit so that it goes outside the lines there. Again, hit play or track selected mass forward, and it will do the same thing. And presto, you've now got a color corrected face. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.